Yo, what is going on guys? It's Dan Rhodes here and welcome back to the channel. So, as many of you guys are preparing to go back to school, or maybe you're already back to school, which I know for some of you guys might be quite scary. I know some of you guys haven't stepped in a classroom for like six months. I also go back to college tomorrow, which I'm not sure how I feel about. So, I thought that today I'd teach you four simple magic tricks that you guys can do when you go back to school to impress your friends, your family, your teachers, and just have a bit of fun when you're back in school. Now these tricks are really simple to do and you're going to have a lot of fun performing them so let's get into the first trick. But before we get into the first trick, if you guys could do me a massive favour please hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already and make sure you hit the like button for more videos. Alright, let's get into this. So the first trick I'm going to be teaching you is how to take a sharpie just like this, place the sharpie up your nose. Ooh, and then straight out your mouth just like that. This is a trick that I still do today. It gets amazing reactions from your friends and family. So let me get into how to do it. So essentially, you're not really putting the pen up your nose. I mean, if you did, that would be not too clever. And all you're doing is when you pretend to push the pen up your nose, what you're doing is covering the pen with your fingers just like this. So basically, your fingers are sliding up the pen, creating the illusion that the pen's going up your nose. So it looks like this. It looks like the pen's going right up your nose, but really, it's in your hand. Once again, you place the pen on your nose, you pretend to push up, but all you're doing is slowly sliding your fingers in front of the pen. Just like this, everyone. And make sure that when you do it, you make some facial expression like you're really scared. Make sure you be like, Ugh, because the people watching are going to think that you're really putting the pen up your nose. So make sure you make some scary face so you can scare your friends. Just like this. Ugh. And then to complete this trick, obviously the pen's still in your hand. What you're going to do is when you, once you pretend to put the pen up your nose, you're going to bite down on the pen and then your fingers are going to slowly move down, making it look like the pen's gone up your nose and then out your mouth. Once again, the pen pretends to go up your nose. Really, it's right here. You're going to slide your fingers upwards, then bite down on the pen. Mm, and then move your fingers down to create the illusion that the pen has just gone up your nose and out through your mouth. Mm, just like that. <laughs> so that's trick number one done. Let's get on to the second one. The second trick also uses a pen. By the way, guys, you don't have to use a Sharpie. This is just the only pen that I had lying around. You can also do this with a pen or a pencil. And since you guys are in school, I recommend you guys use a pencil that you can find at school to do this next trick. So watch this trick. I've got the pen in my hand. I'm going to open my fingers one by one. And hopefully the pen will stick to my hand. Watch one, two, three. And the pen literally sticks to my hand. Watch this. If we just blow... See how the pen actually moves just like that. And that is number two. Once again, guys, this trick is super simple. All you've got to do is take the pen and all you do is hold the pen or pencil in your hand. You take your other hand and you grab your wrist with three fingers and a thumb and your pointer finger is actually just going to hold the pen or pencil in place. So when you're holding it like this, it looks like the pen's moving on its own, but really you're holding it like that. So have a look. This is the position you want to hold it in. One, two, three fingers here, your thumb's there and your pointer finger is holding the pencil just like so. So this is how you get into the position. So you borrow the pen or pencil and you pretend to grab your hand, but what you're doing is putting your finger there, your pointer finger, and grabbing it like so. Then you're going to hold the pen tight. Then you're going to slowly release your fingers one by one. And it looks like the pen's stuck to your finger. Everyone's going to freak out. But then here's where it becomes even more impressive. You then start wiggling your finger forwards and backwards just like this to create the illusion that the pen's moving. So once again, here's what it looks like. And then when you're done, you just grab the pen away like this and no one will suspect a thing. One more time, you're holding the finger right here. You let go like this. The pen starts moving and then you literally just let go of everything and let them inspect the pen and everyone's going to be blown away. Now it's time to teach you trick number three. So this trick involves a pack of cards and you're going to have a lot of fun with this one. This is one of the first tricks that I ever learned. It's how to literally take your finger and make a card rise out of the pack just like that. So you start off by asking someone to pick a card. They have a look at the card. They remember it. The card goes back inside the pack. So for this case, we're using the four of diamonds. The four of diamonds goes back in the pack just about halfway. You give the cards a bit of a shuffle or a little shuffle just like this. And then when the cards are shuffled, you're going to tell everyone that you're about to make the card rise out the pack using the magic of static electricity. So look, if we get just enough static electricity, we can actually make your card rise out of the pack just like 
that and I've dropped the cards again. So the secret to this is actually really, really simple. All you're actually doing is when you place your finger on top and when you want to make the card rise out, you just put your pinky finger on the bottom of the card and then you move the card up just like this and then your pinky finger goes back in place and you show the card that you've just made magically rise out the deck. So once again, you're going to rub the top just like this and you're going to say you're going to make their card rise out the top. Obviously, their card is on the top of the pack and I normally do it on the third try. OK, so you do it once. It doesn't work. You do it twice. It doesn't work. And then on the third time, you put the pinky finger there and you move your finger up and the card rises right out the pack. And the presentation I normally use for this is I just go watch. I'm going to make a card rise out the pack with magic. You go one two i need a bit of static electricity let's see can we do it number three and then the card rises right out that's the normal way of doing it if you want someone's selection to rise out the pack all you've got to do is get them to select a card like this one place the card back on top and then pretend to cut the cards or you can give them a shuffle if you want give them a shuffle just like this so if their card goes back on the top of the pack you can turn the cards around and shuffle them but make sure that their card stays on the top, all right? So the card goes back in the pack, just like this, on the top. You're going to shuffle the cards from the bottom, just like this, but make sure that their card stays on top. And then you're all set to do this trick. Once again, you just rub, and then one, two, three, the card rises out, just like magic. All right, everyone, let's get into the final trick, trick number four. Okay, so I've had to position the camera a bit lower for this one because this trick requires a table and a playing card. Watch now, this takes a lot of practice, so let's see if I can do it. All right, guys, I'm going to try and make the card balance on the table. Let's see if we can do it. Three. <laughs> we did it, we did it. Guys, we need to be careful now. We need to be really careful because I'm about to take the box and try and balance it on the pack. All right, this is going to be quite hard. Let's see if I can do it. And just like that, the box balances on the card and everything is examinable for your friends to have a look at. And yeah, let me teach you this trick. All right, everyone. So the secret to the balancing card illusion is you've actually got a little flat card on the back, just like this. So when you place the card down, it actually looks like the card is standing up and balancing all by itself. And let me teach you exactly how to make one of these little flat cards. All you're gonna need are two cards with the same bat design. So the face doesn't matter, the faces can be different like this, but make sure that the bat design is the same. <laughs> then all you're gonna do is take one of the cards and you're gonna fold it just like this down the uh, middle of the card. So you're gonna fold it like this, just so it's got a nice crease in the card. And then all you're simply doing is gluing this card onto the back of this card, just like that. Also make sure it's not the wrong way around, so don't do it like this. You want it to be the back design, so make sure that you glue it um, this way, just about there. And you can literally glue the card with anything. Like, if you guys are at school, I recommend using the glue or a print stick. You can use double-sided tape or rubber cement. I'm going to use rubber cement for this because I don't have any glue around. But I recommend, if you've got a glue stick, just to use that. So make sure that you're gluing the face of the card just like this. And you only have to glue one end. So once you fold it in half, don't glue this end just glue one end just like that so let me show you guys let me use some of this rubber cement just like so all right we're going to put a bit on the card just like this on one side of the card guys so only one and uh, need some cement just like this awesome and then once you've done that guys once you've glued one side of the card i've done a bit of a messy job here but i'm just show showing you guys for example so i've put the glue on this side of the card then all you're literally going to do is just glue it onto the back of the card. Make sure it sticks in place just like that. All right. And now I'm going to obviously have to leave this to dry because it's rubber cement. But if you've got glue, it'll do the trick straight away. Then make sure you've edged all the corners together just so it's nicely aligned. And then boom, you've got your flat card. And now you can magically balance cards. Also, something really cool you can do with this flap, because it's a flat card and because the back's the same, you can hold the card just like this. So obviously, if you show both sides, they're not going to see the flap, but you have to make sure that you've got your finger on the flap because you don't want to hold it like this or else they'll see the flap. So if I were you guys, I'd walk up to your friends, I'd go check this out. We've got a card right here. By the way, guys, make sure the person stood in front of you and make sure no one stood by the sides of you, else they're going to see the flap. So to do this trick, the person has to be right in front of you. Oh yeah, make sure no one's behind you, else they're going to see how it works. So yeah, start off by showing both sides, they won't suspect anything. Then when you place the card down, all you're going to do is position the flaps like this. 
So you're going to move the flap to the back and place it down and then the card will balance. So obviously you're going to take the card and you're going to slowly, so this is what it looks like. So your spectator will be in front. So imagine there's someone here. You're going to show the cards both sides. When you place the card down, you're going to move your thumb like this just so the card balances. And from their perspective, the card is going to be balancing just like that. And then as a little kicker, what I like to do is take the card box. It has to be empty, an empty card box. Then what you're going to do is just position the box on top. And it might take a bit of practice, but then the box will be able to balance on the card. And then if you get really good at it, guys, you can also take something like a water bottle. And then when you've placed the box on top of the card, just like this, you can also take a water bottle and balance that on the card and the box too. And then it looks like you've got special powers. Then move the, the bottle from the box, then move the box. And then finally, you can take the card and show both sides. It just came apart there because the glue is still drying. But you get the idea. You can show both sides and impress your friends and family with this awesome trick. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed them four little tricks that I've taught you. If you want to learn some more magic in the future, make sure you subscribe with the bell notifications turned on as then you'll never miss when I post a video. I'd really appreciate if you guys could let me know in the comments how you're getting on with these tricks. And also if you could share this video with a friend so they can learn some tricks, that would be also awesome. I know these are hard times right now, but try and keep your chin up, guys, because things are going to get better. And I hope you guys enjoy your time back at school. All right, everyone, as usual, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much for watching. It's been emotional, and that's about it. Peace. Hi.